everybody. Welcome into Undisputed on this Friday. I'm Jen Hale, here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, gentlemen. Great, 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 great. <laughs> ah, Diet Mountain Dew. What the do? The breakfast of champions, the nectar of the gods. You now owe me officially four more cases of Diet Mountain Dew. You lost two on the Pelicans game, and you lost two on your Lakers saying they were going to finish 7-2. and two. You just officially last night lost that bet. Four more cases. I'm going to have to build a fourth swimming pool for all my due. Well, we'll bet it on something, man. We'll, we'll bet it. Right. I get it back. I'm going to get it back on Yannis. Really? Yeah. Yannis is going to get it back. Yeah, you're going to get it back, and pigs are going to fly. <laughs> well, Instead of wine ready. cases, y'all need due cases coming up. <laughs> all right, let's jump right in this morning because we have so much to get to. Giannis pouring in 44 points last night, grabbing 14 boards as the Bucks knock off the Nets. 120-119 in OT. Giannis hit the step back three to send the game to overtime. And for what it's worth, KD did miss some potential game winners at the end of the fourth and overtime. This was a fabulous matchup. Shannon, what's your biggest takeaway from last night? Well, my biggest takeaway is what I knew to be true at the beginning of the season. Giannis Antetokounmpo is the best player in the NBA, and he did nothing to dispel that. If you look at his last two games against the Sixers, he was 40, 14, and 6, 67% shooting, game-clinching block in a win mm. on Tuesday. He follows that up. He says that's not good enough. He goes 44, 14, and 6 on 67% shooting, game-tying three to send it to overtime, two clutch free throws to win it. I don't really know what else you can do. The guy had 84 points, 28 rebounds, and 12 assists mm. in two games on 67% shooting. Mm. How many, and, just a second. I just got a quick question. How many turnovers did he have last night? Oh, no, no, no. It's How many not, turnovers did he have last night? It's not your turn to talk. I know, but I'm just it. asking a quick question from the audience over here. Just a quick one. Uh, you know what? Uh, How many did Kevin Durant have last night? Uh, How many did Kevin Durant have? Giannis had eight turnovers. He was Westbrookian last night. But did he or did he not win the ball game? In his last five games, head to head against Kevin Durant, Giannis is five and zero. Oh. He's averaging 35, 13, and 6. Mm. He's plus 81. Kevin Durant is minus 67. Now, you told me when Kevin Durant went to LeBron James' house, he's the best player. The he was. He was. If Twice. Two in a row. Anybody that watched this game last night that doesn't think Giannis Antetokounmpo mm. is currently the best player in the NBA, they're losing their mind. Mm. Now he's officially tied with LeBron James for the averaging the most points in the season. Mm. Skip, I don't know what else you want him to do. Kevin Durant versus Giannis in clutch this season. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is shooting 40%. Giannis is shooting 52% in clutch. Last five minutes of the ball game, game within five. Mm. That's what Giannis is doing. Mm. So, for me, Giannis almost outscored Kevin Durant and KD. So, you mean to tell me two of the best offensive players in NBA history, two of the most clutch players in NBA history. Now, had LeBron, all you do is when LeBron missed situations like that, you got to show it. I don't do that. I don't mm. need to show it because people saw him miss a game-winning shot in regulation and a game-winning shot in overtime. That happened. So what last night told me is what I already knew. Mm -hmm. The Brooklyn Nets are not beating the Milwaukee Bucks in a seven-game series. Giannis is the currently best player in the NBA. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Mm. Guys averaging 30, 14, and 6. Mm. 30, 14, and 6 on 57% shooting. I don't know how you get much better than that. And he's the number one seed in the East. Mm. That's what it told me last night. Is it my turn? Yes, yeah, your turn. Take it away. Whew, thank you. Here we go. So, uh, I have a question. There's this guy who's made back-to-back first-team all defenses. Back-to-back, -back, he's 6'10", he's long, he can, he can guard any position, including that position, Giannis' position. Yeah. His name is Ben Simmons. Whatever happened to him? That ain't Help do, me out. That ain't Help do me out. Tonight. What if he had played last night and guarded Giannis? What? Would Giannis have gotten 500 points or yes. whatever he got? And, by the way, there's this other guy named LaMarcus Aldridge. And when he was with my Spurs, you want to talk about a rim protector? You want to talk about 6'11 and long? He can't do anything with Giannis. LaMarcus can do a lot with Giannis because no, he, he just bothered the hell out of him. And where has LaMarcus been? I don't know. I think they're just shelving him for the playoffs. He's had an ankle issue. He hadn't played for a month. I don't know what's happening. Well, you happened. better get out of the eight seed. Huh? And then there's this guy named Blake Griffin. 
I thought he did a marvelous job on Giannis last year. He made Giannis work, grunt and groan and grind for his yeah. points in that seven-game battle that they had last year. He dropped 40 the on him. Well, I, he had a hard night against – even in game seven, he had a hard night against Blake Griffin. Where was Blake Griffin last night? He was sitting down at the end of the Can bench. Can we talk about the people he that was, were there? I, I'm just telling you, this is what they were up against. And, by the way, Kevin Durant, when, when he guarded Giannis, he – he was putting the clamps on him, no, but they wasn't. would not let him. They're, they're playing Claxton on him most of the night. He's yeah. splitting time with Big Penguin. Are you kidding me? In fact, there was a play with 7.43 left in the game. Could we see what KD did to Giannis, the guy who dominated last night? Oh, this he didn't is, dominate? This is where – look at this. Oh, he blocked his shot, and then he was called for traveling on the play. Yeah, he but traveled. he blocked his shot. He That's traveled. interesting. Whew. Okay. All right. That, that'll work. So – Here's what happened. I'm going to give you this. It was not Kevin Durant's best game. He is mortal. He's human. And he didn't have a great one. But he had a pretty good one because he did a lot of good things. And yet, Giannis did come through, but he shockingly came through because it was completely out of character for him to come through because he's not the closer. And he was forced into the closer role because Middleton got tossed. And so, I thought it wasn't right that he got tossed, but he did get tossed. So it should be more impressive. Chris, Chris Middleton is the closer for this team. He closed game seven in overtime at Brooklyn a year ago in the playoffs. And last night, Giannis had missed all three of his threes and he makes the one that ties the game to send it to overtime. And I fell out of my chair. Is that what clutch player does? Okay. Well, he, he's never been that clutch before because he's not the closer. He always defers to Chris Middleton or even to Drew Holiday. And then in overtime, could we see what happened the first time he went to the free throw line in overtime? Because that came when, when he was uh, – let me get my notes out here. This is 139 to go. Giannis steps up to the free throw line. If we could see this one. Hang on. Yeah, okay, here we go. He gets fouled, and he goes to the free throw line. This is 139 left. Whoops. And 139 left, and whoops. And given that, I'm thinking he's got the demons going, and then he gets fouled again. If we could see the foul, the, the second foul that sent him to the line for the game winners, which came with three seconds left. Yeah, I, fouled I, I, I didn't think it was a foul. Claxton I just mean, him. you know, he just gets a downhill run at the basket, and That's Claxton's just trying to get out of the way. Well, you can't grab his arm. He just runs over. Okay, just, just get out of the way. Him, Don't okay? grab his arm. And he steps right up and, and knocked me out of my chair again. He made the two free throws right. after he'd missed two. Right. That took a lot of guts because you got the demons eating at your psyche. No, you thought he had the demons. Well, he didn't think okay, that. Well, I, has he been a good free throw shooter in the past? He made them then. Well, That's all that mattered. And he made 15 of 19. Last night, which is shockingly good, well, but it's uncharacteristic. No, it's not because good. we saw him in game. We saw him in game six yeah, last year, make did. sixteen or seventeen. So, could somebody please explain to me how Kevin Durant only shot three free throws Skip, last night? Skip, that's not his. Skip, he huh. wasn't driving the ball. He stayed out of the perimeter. Okay. So, what what did we see? Let's go bigger picture here. What do we see? You're, you're saying that he proved once and for all he's better than Kevin Durant. Let me get my box score out here. Yeah, in, get it out. In the fourth quarter. Huh, Kevin Durant made three of four shots, took one three and made it. That's pretty good. Didn't get to the free throw line, but he scored seven points. Mm -hmm. That that's that's a pretty good fourth quarter. How many right? points did Giannis have? Huh? How many points did Giannis have? Okay. If well, you're gonna tell the story, okay. tell it. Well, he made the last three, so I'm gonna give you that. And there's no more Chris Middleton, so I give you that. He had to do something. Chris Middleton's look at his line for the fourth quarter. He's the closer for the team, and he managed to take one shot and miss it and score zero points. Yeah. So I give you Giannis stepped into the breach, and and he's like. Oh, maybe I better do but, but this. But you was trying to make a point about Kevin Durant had seven points. Giannis had nine points, six rebounds. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, mean, go, I mean, tell a story. I mean, you, you, and, you left something off. And he had eight turnovers for the game. Yes, Let him go, Giannis. Sure eight. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now let's go to the overtime, yes, shall we? Yes, let's go to the overtime. Okay. Who led all scorers in scoring in the overtime? Help me out, Mr. Sharp. Led all scorers. Huh. Oh, it's that, that guy named Durant. You know that guy, the best what, player on the planet? It? Huh. He, he led all in overtime. He, he, had, he had six points in overtime. That led all scores. Nobody had more than six points in overtime. Did right. he do his part? Yeah. Yeah. So here's no. the big picture of what you got to put into perspective. Kevin Durant has now played all of 12 games with Kyrie Irving this year. 12 games, and they're still trying to figure each other out because this is a clearly troubled basketball team. Not I don't know what's going on, but 
we know what Kyrie did to this team. He took the heart out of this team. He knocked this team on its golden tail by not getting vaccinated. And James Harden quit over it and wound up in Philadelphia. And I still don't think this team has picked itself up off the deck yet over what Kyrie did to it. Now, finally, he can come back and he's still not vaccinated. And the mayor's saying, Kyrie, go ahead and get vaccinated. Well, he hasn't. And this team feels like it needs to get vaccinated uh, against whatever's going on in that locker room because there's something going on that's just wrong with this team. I don't like their body language. Ain't nothing going on. What's yeah. going on is that they can't beat the uh, uh, the, oh. uh, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh. Giannis is the best player. No, I don't want you to tell me what's going on in the locker room. That was not.